So we're going to continue on Unit 2, Lesson 7, Functional Groups. Here we're going to speak about alcohols. Alcohol. So what are alcohols? Alcohols, what function do they have? What group, what, fu what functional group do they have? They have the group OH. So alcohol, alcohol, it is a very important function, alcohols. The functional group, it is the OH. So it will be R, a radical R, OH. This is the group. I'm going to put it with R O H. Example. For example, I have CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. So this one is alcohol. Why? Because it has the uh, the the, uh, the the group OH. <clears throat> It has the group OH. How are we going to name it? Again, we are going to name it given and we are going to give the OH uh, the priority. First, I have three carbons, so it must be propane. And the OH, I have to label the carbons and I have to give the priority to the OH. So the OH will be the number one, the carbon one, two, three. So this one it will be one, not propane, but we are going to change uh, the, the, the E by all. The E here, we are going to change it by all, whatever, propane, all. The E here must be changed with all. So it will be one, propanol, uh, one, propanol. Another example now. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this one a little bit up. One propanol. Second example now. CH3, CH, CH3, OH. So I'm going to enable this one. Again, propanol. Because it is an alcohol, it has the ramification or the side side chain OH. They have the group the group OH, but we have to label to see which the carbon. What is it? So I'm going to label one, two, three, or one, two, three. So it will be two propanol. <clears throat> what happened if we have two functions? Two. I'm going to another example here. For example, we have here CH2, CH2, and I have this one, it is linked to OH and another OH here. So I have two side functions, two side chains that are alcohols. I have two here, so it will ethanol. And they have but, but and I have to give the ethanol. I have two functions. I have two, two of them. This one, one, two. So it will be one, two. Ethanol. Ethanol. We are not going to put one, two, D. Ethanol. No. Not like this one. We put diol here. If you have three, we put triol. Okay, so if you have one, we put uh, diol. If we have two, uh, if you have one, we put nothing. If we have two, we put uh, uh, diol. If you have three, we put triol. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to put it like there here. <coughs> D or three. Okay, another example here. With the three uh, CH2, for example, CH, CH2. I have, for example, function OH here. I have another OH. I have another OH here. So, how are we going to call them? Because I have three here. So, it will be uh, propane. Uh, 
but since I have three, I have to label one, two, three. So I'm going to put one, two, three. Each one has a function. Propantrial. Propantrial. Okay. Or instead of uh, putting the all, we put the all, trial. Propantrial. Uh, this is for the naming. Yeah, we can have also uh, uh, a complex, uh, uh, a, a complex uh, uh, alcohols. For example, we can have uh, like this one here with a ring with the benzene, and they have an OH here. So this one, what we're going to call it, hydroxybenzene, hydroxybenzene. We're not going to use benzeniol, but we're going to call it hydroxybenzene because this one it is a hydrox, hydroxide, a hydroxide. This is a hydroxide. So hydroxybenzene. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, we're going to speak about. Uh, okay, we're going to continue. Uh, the video is not long enough. I, I want to continue to finish with. Uh, I want to finish with 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 alcohols. So, what are the properties for the alcohols? Properties, properties. If you want to see the physical properties, the melting point and the boiling point, look at the molecule. If it is polar, non-polar, etc. If I look to uh, alcohols, always I have radical with OH. But we said that the group more OH, the group OH give always a hydrogen bounding. A hydrogen bounding. And the hydrogen bounding, we said they are the strongest. The stronger they are strong more strong than dipole dipole and more strong than dispersive uh, forces or London forces so what will be the the prediction prediction the boiling points the boiling and the melting points the melting points of alcohols of alco alcohols alcohols are bigger than the alkene or the hydrocarbon the hydrocarbons with the same hydrogen the same number of carbons with the same number of carbons because the hydrocarbons they are uh, they are not uh, polar yeah this is for, for the the properties so the alcohols we expect them always to be uh, melting and boiling points are higher that's why we expect them to be liquid liquid at the room temperature temperature good for example ethanol it is liquid ethane it is gas synthesis of alcohols how we find alcohol synthesis this is of alcohol by fermentation there are bacteria Yes, for example, fermentation. Fermentation. And this is the drink, drink with the wine and etc. It is like this one. Uh, fermentation uh, process. Uh, this is a biological process. Uh, biological. Recall process as process in which in which sugar yeast 
in which there are uh, bacteria, yeah? yeast uh, converts converts sugar into alcohol into ethanol okay so the reaction it is C6H12O6 accused that will give with fermentation it will give you it's his yeast if we put it with the yeast a bacteria it will give you 2C2H5OH liquid plus 2CO2 2 plus 2CO2 liquid ah gas excuse me not liquid gas okay <clears throat> uh, we can do it also this is the first one the other one we did it before you remember i told you that by addition reaction addition reactions remember we did it with alcene for example if i take a propane propene ch3 ch uh, CH2, I'm going to write it with the H. CH2, CH, CH3, like that. And we added HOH, water. And with the, the right conditions, what you will have, we will have alcohol by, by addition. Uh, uh, go to the, the video for alcenes. And we did this one. We, I showed you how to make the uh, addition reactions. And we said this one, it is to propanol. Propanol. I remember it is the same example that we did. <coughs> so what are reactions that we can do with alcohol? We can burn them. Reactions. Reactions. We can do combustion. We can burn it and we use it in our cars because there are a lot who it is in uh, oh. so it will be c2 for example h6o liquid this one ethanol plus three plus oxygen always when you are burning we had to add oxygen it will give us co2 plus water and you balance your reaction here you will have three here you will have two and here you will have three so we can burn them what we can do also elimination we can eliminate the uh, we can eliminate eliminate the the, the 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 alcohol function elimination elimination with the proper catalysts we can do it for example, I have CH3, CH2, CH, I have an OH here, CH2, H here. We add H2SO4 as a catalyst. This one, it is spectator, but it helps the reaction to be done. That's what a catalyst is doing, helping the reaction. And with this one, this OH will be removed. These two will be removed. That's what we call elimination. It will be eliminated. This, this OH and this H will be eliminated. And we are going to end up with CH3, CH2, CH, uh, and CH2 here. So this one will be eliminated. And what when this one it is when this OH is eliminated. I'm going to write it here CH3, CH2, CH, CH2. I have OH here and H. When these two will, will be eliminated, this one will be eliminated. 
and this one will be eliminated what will happen this two bounding because this carbon and this carbon will say ah oh, we need uh, to do something because we have legs in the air this is not a great idea so they will say ah oh, oh, no problem bind with ourselves and we'll have this one here uh, plus h2o plus h2o because we eliminated the oh and the h so they will bind to give us water elimination so by elimination we'll get what alkene <clears throat> and that's it for the for the for for the alcohols good bye